Chapter 29 The last game of the season was against Santa Inez in their stadium for the regional championship. Nearly all of Santa Maria had turned out for it, taking buses and piling into cars and trucks. Even Max's aunties and Miss Dominguez took the bus with Buelo and Tio. Papa and Max rode with the team. There hadn't been any more talk about Papa being a criminal. Tio had put an end to all the rumors. No one knew about Max's mother being a hidden one either, at least for now. But if it was discovered, Max was prepared to tell anyone who she really was, a brave and selfless hero who wanted to protect her family and to live without fear. Max knew who he was too, someone who was true of heart and proud of the legacy into which he'd been born. He came from a long line of stonemasons who built bridges that never collapsed and allowed one side of the river to hold hands with the other. Football was in his blood. The talent hadn't skipped him and with hard work and practice, he'd made the village team and might one day make the national team. He was a guardian of the hidden ones. Max lined up on the field with his teammates in their green and white uniforms. The soft, soft snug leather of his well-loved volantes hugged his feet. Papa had bought them for him in San Clemente. Max had earned them after working all summer as his apprentice. He didn't use them to spring from one side of the goal posts to the other, though. Ortiz played goalie. He'd done well at the summer clinic and honed his skills. He was the best choice. Chewy was center back, Guille a midfielder, and Max played forward. The coach, Hector Cruz, paid attention to him, saying he hadn't seen such fast feet in a long time. When he found out that Papa had once played professional, he asked him to help with the team. Even Buelo sometimes came out to watch their practices and show all the players the photo of him with Nandito. Hector Cruz had high hopes for the team. The stadium was full and the crowd wild. With little time on the clock, the score was tied. The fans swayed and sang, Santa Maria, Santa Maria. An opponent dribbled towards Max. He was big like a mountain moving in his direction, but Max attacked and stole the ball and kicked it back to Guille. He ran towards the goal and pushed around a player to get open. Guille passed the ball to him. Max trapped it and dribbled around a defender. When he saw an opening, he kicked the ball hard and scored. The whistle screamed. They'd won. The cheering like thunder filled the stadium. Max raised his arms and ran in a circle. Papa rushed to him from the sidelines and lifted him off the ground in a giant hug. Then, with their arms around each other, they looked towards the stands. Papa pointed towards a section and Max spotted Buelo, Tio, his aunties, and Miss Dominguez. They all waved and cheered madly. Just as he did at the end of every game, he scanned the stadium of people. He knew that neither of them were likely to be there. But just in case the impossible became possible, he waved his arm in a wide arc back and forth. Chewie flung himself at Max. Hermano, we did it. We're the champions, campeones. His teammates surrounded him. In a giant huddle, the team began to chant, Cordova, Cordova, Cordova. Max felt like he could fly.